Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have uh, Romans 15:32. By God's will I may come to you with joy, and together we will be refreshed. So just trying to take a refreshing look at everything. I actually decided that Monday is a day for instead of it just being ugh, Monday, I've decided I'm going to try and it's a refresh. It's it's a restart of a week, you know, it's it's a second chance to start over. It's a fresh new start kind of thing. So I'm trying. Uh, yeah, not working very well right now, but I'm trying. So I guess that's the whole point. My sinuses are still dry, uh, draining, as you can tell. All right. So off the hook, off the mannequin, whatever. Um. I have one completed item, and it is the really, really long uh, table runner that is for Christmas. It's, you know, yeah. so it's quilted and it's just around the squares, and uh, I use stashed on this, so it's striped on the back, just because um, that's what I had, and then I did the binding and got it all done. So this weekend, um, I got that done. The other thing is, is that shirt right there. That was RJ's other one that he dropped off. I got it done and out the door. Well, it's not out the door, obviously, but, um, he's been on the road. So yeah. Uh, I actually sat down this weekend and made a list of everything that I had to get done. I don't have to get done, but I need to get done. Um, and I divided it into sewing, spinning, and crochet, and then house cleaning. It is what it is. <laughs> um, so RJ shirt, the table runner for Christmas, and then, um, if you remember, I had that lady that brought me the shirt that she had cut it up and stuff and wanted it fixed, and it was one of her favorites. And so I made you a little clip about that shirt. And I'm going to put that in right here. Okay, guys. So I'm going to make you this quick video. And I'm kind of going to take you along with this little journey. So backstory: This lady, older lady, has a sweatshirt from her grandkids. And I know I'm, I'm sorry about my face being so dark. Um, I'm at the wrong angle. I get it. But when I focus down, you'll see. All right, so she brought me this sweatshirt. She says, it's my favorite sweatshirt. My grandkids gave it to me. And it is, it's a sweatshirt that um, they got her on vacation. St. Augustine, it's beautiful. I love it. It's, but she said that they kind of brought, bought the wrong size. So the neck got tight, so she cut it out. Okay, that's the first thing she did. Um, I was like, mm, okay, she did a fairly decent job of making it even. Um, there's a couple of cattywampus, but my fix for that is I bought bias tape that pretty much matches it. Um, it's a little off, but it will just have to do. Um, so, uh, then she doesn't like long longer sleeves, so she cut them off. No, she didn't get them even. It is now starting to pull apart because this was surged and she cut right through the middle of the surge. So I am going to roll these and make them look like a rolled cuff. I am also going to uh, sew this and make it so that it's not going to split and come apart anymore. Um, so that's my cure for that. But then she said the bottom was too tight. So she literally made two slits, one at each side. Then she said the whole thing is just getting too tight through here and her arms. And she brought it to me and she says, can you do something? Now, she's been wearing it like this. <laughs> Guys, this is not what you do. So, all right, let's take this down and I'm going to show you, I hope. Let's see if I can get a better angle. There we go. All right. Move this little computer. There we go. Okay, so. What I am going to do, because of the way she's already started this, I am going to take and from about here down, and this is the sleeve, 
I'm going to put a triangle in there, but what it's actually going to be is a long rectangle that goes up to a point. Um, and then I am going to sew it on here. Now, I took a little snippet from where she had cut the edge. Okay, she has cut both. And here's where I took my little snippet because I have to cut out this bulk anyway. So I am going to cut it out, even it up, take that hem out, you know, and then I'm going to put about two inches on each side. That will give her four extra inches. Now, the, how I came up with those measurements is I said, well, I need a sweatshirt that, you know, you um, like the fit of. She says, oh, I got one. She says, it's nasty and old, but I love the way it fits me. She says, it's just right. I said, okay, bring it to me. So it, here's this stained up pink little um, one. And I laid this out. Okay, and you can see there's stains on it. It doesn't matter. I laid this out, and this ribbing is really stretched, okay? But I did it here at the upper, um, like right under the armpit. Uh, and I put the pink on bottom. Well, let's just show you. So I put the pink on bottom, and then I lined the green one up on this side, okay? And she says she likes the way this one fits. So I lean, you know, did this, made sure this was across, made sure everything was smooth. Then I measured this. This is about two inches. It, it's like an inch and something, but for seam allowance, I will. But it's also doubled, okay? So that means it's technically four inches. So if I put two inches on each side, the shirt will look like it's made that way. Um, I went to Hobby Lobby. I couldn't find any uh, sweatshirt jersey material. And I thought, huh, what am I going to do now? So I just went walking around and I found this. This is, as you can tell, the perfect color. I had my little swatch with me, okay? And it is perfect. When you lay it on it, it looks like it's made to go together, okay? So this was a remnant. And it was a yard and a third. So I only need four inches, okay? Maybe 18 inches long. So I'm going to make a pair of shorts out of this just because that's what I'm teaching Tori. So it'll be a cute little set, you know. So basically, I'm just going to take two inches off of this right here. That will be more than enough to do both sides because I'm only putting it in as one thickness I'm not going to do it I am going to serge it with white and then top stitch it down um, like I said I'm going to come up two inches here I'm going to fix where she cut it make it look like it's made this way I was going to replace this ribbing too but Hobby Lobby does not carry ribbing now they quit carrying it I was kind of disappointed but I didn't want to go all the way to Joann's um, Hobby Lobby is 10 minutes up the road Joann's is 30 minutes up the road you know it, for a job you're doing just as a favor to somebody, I'm not going hunting everywhere. But this definitely looks like it goes together. Um, it is so close. So, so close. Um, it will just look like it's made that way. Um, I'm going to bring the strip down to include the ribbing. So she'll have one flat part. She'll still have the stretchy ribbing, just not on those two inches of the side. So, this is my task of the day. I will bring it back. This does not fit match perfectly, and I hesitate to put it on there, but I probably am going to, um, just because I think it will make it look nicer. And there is another color green in there, so should be able to play off of it just enough. Um, we'll see how that goes. And I even picked up a spool of green thread so that I can top stitch with the right color. So. I'm going to get set, get to doing this, and like I said, I'm just going to go up this a couple of inches and make it a triangle so it'll go narrower because this should be, oh, I'm not even on camera, sorry. Um, I'm going to go up about halfway, make that a triangle, and go down, and then this will be fine. I'm going to leave it the way it is, so I will just nip to in there, and I will cuff these and fix these where it's splitting and all that good lovely stuff.
Um, I will be starting with white because I'm not buying four spools of mint green that I will never use again. So I will surge over the end of this, tuck it in, and I may just go in because I'm going to roll it. I may just with the mint green stitch, you know, down uh, just enough to stop it from fraying. And as you can see, the other side is doing the same thing. So never cut a serge thing unless you plan on going in and doing something to stop it from splitting. All right, I'm going to get to work and make this lovely sweatshirt over so that it will fit this lady and she will have her favorite sweatshirt back. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done, if I remember to. If not, you'll see this section in the podcast. Okay, so I finished the shirt and I just want to do a little clip before I return it to her. There's only one thing that I don't like about it, but it is what it is. Um, the bias tape that I came up with, I couldn't find any that um, matched it really well. The green that I had didn't work. So here is the shirt. As you can see, I put those in. You really can't even tell. It's not, it's not stretchy material, but the rest of the shirt has stretched like a sweatshirt would. So yeah, hem the cuffs up. Made them look nice and pretty. And uh, just finished off the bottom. I took this because I couldn't find any ribbing. I just took this all the way down to the bottom. Did two stitches across there because I wanted it kind of wide, reinforced. And then I did a, uh, I used some extra of the material and just put in a rolled little, uh, I don't know, collar. It doesn't lay exactly like I wanted to, and I snipped it before I rolled it, but it is what it is. Better than what it was, and if she doesn't like it, it's just a straight stitch. She can take it out. So, yeah. It is done, and that is one thing that I have off the books. And then, I don't know if I can even show you, with the extra material that I had, I made this little pair of shorts for me. They're actually really comfy. So, yeah. I did those two things today. I did RJ shirt and worked on the uh, table runner that's for a Christmas present. So, yeah. I've been productive today. Okay, so I got that one done and out the door. Um, yeah. So I kind of took them out of order because I still have the memory pillows to do and I haven't, I've done one. I need to get on those and that is all I have in this house that I have to do for someone else. Um, this is why I don't want sewing to be my job plus my job. Um, if I get to a point where I can retire or not do, um, not work as much or have a few days just to myself, I wouldn't mind sewing for four or five days a week and then having a few days away, but trying to make it a priority over work, I sew for fun. I don't want to have to do it. And that lady had already come back and asked me, did you get it done? Did you get it done? Ugh. I sew for fun. I don't want to have to do it on someone else's time schedule. So yeah, that was it's done out the door. I'm done with it. Um, I'm going to practice saying no, no, <laughs> because I say, Oh no, there's no time limit. And then, you know, a week and a half later, now keep in mind, I've worked five days a week. So basically two weeks is four days. Did you get it done? Did you get it done? No, I'm going to have to practice saying that. So the only thing I have left is those memory pillows, and I do need to get those done. Um, I'm going to start doing two a weekend, I hope. Ooh. That gives me time to do other things, but it does get them off the thing. And and I may assembly line them um, when I'm doing them. I may line them all up, put the fusing, uh, you know, the fusible fleece on there. And then I may seam them and, you know, I, I don't know yet. I don't know how I'm going to do it. But I know I'm going to get a couple of them done every weekend until they're done. So, uh, in the crochet department, 
I have the crossbody that I'm working on. All right. Now this is making me mad. So you know I came up with these. Um, I had to do. I was ready to put it all together. Okay. And I had this gray strap. Okay. This is the strap. And remember it was off. It, it wasn't the right length. So I had to rip out and I redid. I counted these stitches and then I did this identical. The only problem is, is that once again, this comes up short. My string is my yarn is off. Short again. And I even counted to make sure that these were, and it comes up short again. So I don't know what's going on. And I've double checked everything. They both are exactly 350 stitches. And the weight of the yarn is exactly the same. And the size hook is exactly the same. I don't know what is going on here. I don't know if one has gotten stretched out because it's so old. If I should stretch this one, you know, I just don't know. And so I have been playing with it, trying to make it match and trying to make it match. And I just, I don't get it. I really don't get it because even when I stretch it, Look at, let me see if I can do it without dropping it again. It's still that much short. So I'm going to have to rip out and add a few more stitches and do it. So this is not done yet because it's taken me time and time and time again to redo this and it's still not coming out right. And I'm not exactly sure why, because like I said, the stitch count is the same. The hook is the same. Everything is identical. So um, I will make it match and they'll just have to have different number of stitches, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, but yeah, I even did it with tally marks. Count 10, tally mark, 10, tally mark, 10, tally mark to make sure that I was counting right because that's crazy. So, um, oh, back to sewing. I forgot this. After I get done sewing that lady's shirt, I had a little bit of extra material. So this material, I talked to them to think, I found a scrap for a one, a third yard. I used a third on hers. Then I made me a pair of shorts. I am not adding to my stash. Okay. I am trying very hard not to add to my stash. So, um, yeah, made me a pair of shorts. All right. So on my list, I have the cross body. Then I have the round the world inspired blanket. And I still have two rounds to go around that. And I haven't worked on it, but I dug out all of my stuff. I have, um, this shawl that, and once winter's over, man, I have a hard time getting back to crochet, especially now that I got the serger. I have this little wrap, scarf, whatever you want to call it, and I still have quite a bit to go. <laughs> so I'm going to try and get this one done, that one done, and then I still have this one that is going to be the um, cross-bodied wrap. I'm on the word cross a lot. So it's going to go like so, and then another one like so, and then seam up the sides and cross in the front. Um, so, yeah, I have this one to, still to do, and I have not gotten back to it. And as you can tell, I have, like, a whole other side to do. Um, and I do have motivation for this, so hold on. In the spinning department, I had two pounds of this. I now have one bump left. And I have been working on it, um, the bobbin on the uh, spinning wheel is full, 
and I have to go find another bottle, which I found it. It's in there. I have like, I don't know, five or six. And uh, so, but those are all the projects I have going right now. My goal is to get Pam's pillows out the door, get those nine memory pillows done. Um, that I'm hoping to make that the only sewing I'm doing right now. Um, and get them done. Uh, everything else, you know, those pillows are stacked up right here. I have one done. Um, but I will get on them. I want to get those done. I want to get that shirt hemmed. I started twice on it and didn't get it done. Um, RJ's shirt, he is, is he's just waiting on picking up. He was, he's been out of town. Um, once I get this fiber spun, I have, um, the fiber that I got at Fiber Christmas. And I'm only going to have one thing going at a time for that spinning wheel and for, you know, I hope. I hope. I say that. Okay, sorry, drop not my stuff down. Uh but I wanna get a lot of these. I used to be a monogamous crafter. I would do one thing, get it done and off the hooks or off the machine. And then somewhere, somehow, it just went crazy. And, and I'm not sure why you know it's like I, i'm not sure when i decided to put things on hold and go ahead and start this um anyway you know what i mean so yeah now i have all these things and I, none of them are done and i really wanted i was trying to get this one done because all i have to do after i get that handle done sew it together that's it but apparently that's not happening this week so um yeah anyway <sighs> so that is pretty much my week in a nutshell um just trying to get things finished up i have a lot of christmas done and from there we'll see where it goes but, uh, yeah, it is what it is. All right. So next week, hopefully I will have some more things for you. Um, and we'll go from there. So, all right. Y'all have a blessed week. Thanks for watching.